After first adding some content to their Drupal site, most people notice the front page is just a dump of all that content they've just created, but it doesn't have to be that way. This video will show how to use views to customise your site's front page. So, introduction's over, let's get stuck in. Click Structure, and click Views down at the bottom. Click Add New View, and in here type Recent Posts. This is correct because we are creating a page, but we do not want a title for it. So delete the page title. Going to want to note this URL down for later. And the items to display as three. With that done, scroll down and click continue and edit. Should take us into a more advanced edit screen. First thing we're going to do is set up how uh, how Drupal uses paging. So under pager, click use pager full and set it to display a specif specified number of items. This actually means that we turn the pager off and click apply. Items to display three. Yeah, those settings are correct. So hit apply again. The pager in Drupal means the previous, next, links and uh, page numbers as well. Now we have our basic view created. Click add next to page and in the drop down list click attachment. Scroll down and under pager click 10 items. I'm going to change the offset here to 3. The reason for this is that we've already printed the first three items on our page display so we don't want to print them here too. So once you set that to three, click apply. Now we need to tell the attachment what to attach itself to. So click on page and apply. Now we need to tell it whether to attach itself before or after the thing that it's attaching to, in this case, the page. By default, it's before that we want after. So change that and click apply. Like the page display, this is currently an, an unformatted list and it actually needs to be a table. So go over under format and click unformatted list. Change the for to this attachment, which means it doesn't turn our main page into a table as well. So click table to change it and then click apply. Some very exciting settings. They're all OK. Now we've only got one field at the moment and we need to add some more. So under fields, click add. And we're going to find content post date and user name. Find both those. You can use the search box at the top to filter it. Then once you've ticked them both, Click Add and Configure Fields at the bottom. So this is the configuration page for the post date column in our table. The only thing we want to change here is to remove the colon after the label, because that wouldn't look right in a table. Click Apply. Next, we get the configuration page for username. I want to do two things here. Firstly, remove the colon after the label. And as name is a bit ang ambiguous, we're going to change it to author. So that's the author of the content. And click apply. Next, we just want to rearrange the field order. So under fields and the little drop down arrow next to add, click sort. This will bring up a settings page and there's some little drag handles off to the left. So click and hold content and content post date, sorry, post date and drag it beneath author. And then click apply. 
Last thing to do is give this attachment a meaningful name. So under display name at the top left, click attachment. And change it to recent posts table. And click apply. Finally, our view is complete. So what we have is three what we call node teasers. So much like you get by default, but only three followed by uh, 10 more recent posts in a table beneath them. If we scroll down, we should be able to get a preview of the table. This is something that Views provides, and that's what our table will look like. Scroll back up again, and if I click Page, up at the top under Displays, scroll down again, and there's the preview. And in fact, that also gives us the attachment, so you can see what it's going to look like. And our view is finished, so scroll back up to the top and click Save. Now we need to set this page view to be the home page for Drupal. So click Configuration at the top, then under System and click Site Information. Scroll down to the front page section and under default front page enter recent posts that's the url we saw when we first created the view once you've done that scroll down and click save configuration now that's finished so click the little home icon up on the top in the toolbar and this is the new front page. Scroll down, there's our table. And these are our three article teasers. There's a lot more that can be done. Uh, this is a, a good start. Next, we'll create uh, another table, which will go at the bottom of the 10 most commented posts on the site. And we'll do that right now. Click Structure, Views, this should be familiar. Add a new view. As the view name, enter 10 most commented. Hmm. You can see I've done this before. Uh, in this case, we are going to create a block instead of a page. So uncheck create a page. Also, it's not going to be an unformatted list. It's going to be a table. Wait while it updates. You need to change the items per page to 10, then click Continue and Edit. As it is, this view won't do much. It's just a table of recently created content. So we'll start by adding a filter. So under Filter, click Add. We only want content that has been promoted to the front page, which is what we'll tick. Add and configure filter criteria. Promoted to front page, click yes. Then click apply. Now let's add a couple of fields. Under fields, click add. We're going to find the comment count. And click add and configure fields. Like our previous table view, we don't want a colon after the label. Comment count is fine. Then click Apply. We also want to add the user name field. I could have che checked both the first time. So find username and also remove place a colon after the label. With our previous view, we called it author, so we'll call it author here too. As the label, then click apply. Now that the fields have been added, we need to put them in the right order. So under fields, click the drop down arrow next to add. Click sort from the list. Then drag comment count down beneath the author name. And click apply. Now we need to add a sort criteria. So click Add under that section. 
and look for comment count and tick it. Then click add and configure sort criteria. Make sure this is set to sort descending. Then click apply. Now under sort criteria again, click the drop down arrow. Then click sort, much like add to fields. So what we're saying to viewers here is that we want to we want to sort everything by comment count, then by when it was posted. So comment count is the most important factor in sorting. Once you put comment count at the top, click apply. Let's have a quick look at the preview before moving on. That's what the uh, table is going to look like. Let's scroll back up. Click save on the view. Now that we've created a block, we need to actually position it on the page and only on the home page. So to do that, click structure from the toolbar, then blocks. In the disabled blocks right at the bottom, we will find our view. View 10 most commented. In the drop down, select content. Now it will have appeared in the content region up here. We can see it highlighted in yellow with a little star next to it. We want it below the main page content, so drag it below using the drag handle. Now that we've got it positioned, scroll down and click Save Blocks. Then scroll down again find the content region and look for the view 10 most commented and click configure. We don't want a block title but we do want it only listed on the front page. So under visibility settings, pages, make sure only the listed pages is set then enter this front in the text box and click save blocks, save block rather. With that done, we should be able to return to the home page and see our new table. Scroll down. There it is, the 10 most commented. By no means is this everything that views can do. Next time we'll look a little deeper and create a few more blocks that will give you some ideas for how to customize your home page. Feel free to play around with the views and uh, come and comment on the webmaster forums and ask questions if you get stuck with anything we'll be glad to help so good luck i hope you've enjoyed this and that your views and home pages turn out great